Well, hello, YouTube. It's been a little while. So the project I wanna talk about today is one of the biggest, or was the biggest uh, DIY project that we did for our wedding. We were having a conversation one time when we were planning the wedding. I brought up, you know, that I'd been kinda of looking for a bar to buy. I kinda of just threw on the idea of like, oh man, I, I wish we could just build one ourselves. It might be cheaper. My then fiance, now husband, said, man, that would be cool if we could if we could build our own bar. And I was like, well, maybe we can look into it. So I finally came up with the idea of using crates. I see a lot of other things built out of crates. I've seen coffee tables and shelves and stuff like that built out of crates, but I never seen a bar. Now I'm not sure if it saved money. I didn't really keep track. I don't really care because it's something that's special to us that we built together and it's just gonna have a lot of more sentimental value over the years, even if maybe we could have saved money buying something pre-made. But now we have the memory of building that thing together and we get to keep it forever, so. Now, this video is not gonna be a step-by-step -step manual to how to build this thing exactly. I'm not including exact measurements. I'm not including exact hardware, mostly because we were flying by the seat of our pants as we built this thing. We were using hardware that we had on hand, hardware that probably wasn't even necessarily ideal. So this video is meant to be more like, hey, here's our idea, here's how we did it, but please go and do it better. <laughs> but I am gonna kind of just show you all the steps that I filmed and generally how we did it so that hopefully if you wanna make something like this, you'll have a starting off point. I also need to give my husband tons and tons of credit for this. You'll see his hands in probably 90% of this. He really put a lot, a lot of work into this, into this bar for us and I'm very grateful. So without further ado, here's the tutorial. I hope you enjoy. The main structure of this bar consists of 11 total crates. Um, that we just got from the craft store. I think they're about $10 a piece. And then the wood we just got from the hardware store, I believe they're originally like double the length, like 12 feet long and we had them cut in half. And we just um, used those as the main surfaces and on the top of the bar there um, with the crates arranged as you can see here. Uh, the first step is just to kind of sand all the surfaces. Uh, you just want to get them as smooth as you can. Uh, I'm using a sanding block with a, with, um, a somewhat coarse, um, but not too coarse, sandpaper just to kind of smooth the edges, get any splinters and, and stuff like that off. Um, the crates in particular are very, I, every time I ever get them, but they're, they're usually, they're not smooth at all. There's a lot of rough, rough places and it's hard to get in all the little nooks and crannies, but you just kind of want to get as much of it as you can. So the next thing I did was uh, stain the wood surfaces that were gonna be like all the basically countertops. And just make sure when you're staining that you follow the package instructions. Um, I'm sure there's different brands out there and they all work differently. So you just brush it on. You basically just wanna really let it penetrate the wood. So you wanna make sure it really just gets everywhere and into all the little nooks and crannies and cracks and everything like that. And then uh, you basically just set a timer and you let it set for however long that particular, you know, whatever the package recommends. And then you start wiping it off. This was my very first time staining anything actually. Um, so I really had no idea what I was doing when I did this, but it turned out pretty good. So I guess I did okay. I definitely won't be as intimidated the next time I need to stain some wood. So that's a plus. The next step was to spray paint all of these crates. And let me tell you, this was no easy task. We probably went through 10 cans of spray paint and we got the kind that comes like with the primer in it. And it just took a lot of spray paint to get it coated completely. Uh, what you're seeing here was just kind of the beginning of what was probably a three day process to get them all 
fully spray painted, multiple coats. Uh, yeah. And make sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, if you're doing a spray paint job that is this extensive, that you wear a mask. I would have suffocated if I had not had my professional mask, the kind that has like, you know, the kind that looks like it's from making Breaking Bad. Uh, definitely make sure you invest in one of those if you're gonna do this much spray painting because it's extremely hazardous to your health if you inhale too much of that stuff. And on top of that, be in a well-ventilated area. So uh, that's all I really have to say about that. So the top counterpart has two boards that sit side by side to each other and we needed to bind them together. So we went to the hardware store and we found these bracket things. I don't know what they're called actually, but we just uh, used those. We drilled holes for screws, pilot holes for screws, and then screwed them together so that they would basically become one solid kind of countertop uh, for us. So the next thing we had to do was bring the wood crates together. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six different places where the crates come together on the thicker side. So we just use wood glue and nails. The main thing here is just make sure the nails are not too long so that they don't poke through the other side. But uh, this did the trick for us. It worked. It worked pretty well. So the next thing we had to do was join the front and the back lower pillars together. We were a little unsure how to do this at first because the bottoms of these crates are very skinny. The wood is skinny and kind of fragile. So we weren't real sure how best to pull this off. But what we ended up doing was using small uh, nut and bolt actually. So we just drilled holes through the center of each little crate slat at the bottom and just little pilot holes and then poked the bolt through and then on the other side screwed on the nut to hold it in place. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to do this, uh, but neither my husband or I are woodworkers. <laughs> And we were just doing this on the fly, making it up as we went along. And this is what we came up with. It worked pretty well, actually. So before we put it all together, we just uh, coated the wood surfaces, the parts that were gonna be used as counters with a clear varnish just to seal the wood. Um, Cause obviously if you're gonna be making drinks on it or anything like that, you would wanna make sure it's well sealed. Okay, so the next thing we had to do was put the counter on top of the base. So we just put some wood glue on just like we did when we were putting the crates together. And then we um, used screws to really secure it. So first we drilled pilot holes and we just made sure we were drilling into the thick part of the crate. And then we started putting the screws in. Um, definitely just you know, this is where we definitely probably could have done something a little bit more professional looking or whatever, but we really didn't know any way better to do it. So we just used screws to screw it in and it worked really well. The only problem is that uh, you can see the screw on top of the counter. <laughs> so I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a better way to disguise this. Uh, if anyone has any ideas on that, um, I would love it. If anyone has any suggestions of any kind on how this could have been done better so that anyone trying to make something similar in the future can do a better job. Um, please, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them too because I might want to make something up again. So for the rest of the bar um, on the insides, we just use a few nails along um, just here and there um, along the just where the thick parts of the crates are underneath this bar top. Uh, just because we didn't want to put screws everywhere because they were showing. So we just used some small nails uh, that weren't so obvious to secure the middle part. It was, it was mainly the edges we really wanted to be secure, which is why we used screws. Um, but then we just used, yeah, nails on the rest of it. 
I also failed to film it, but we use nails to secure that top bar top as well to the three crates that sat on top. And then of course you can see here that we are nailing the top three crates to the top of the, the bar top, just using nails again. Like I said, this part's not weight bearing or anything or load bearing as you would probably say. So nails work just fine. So as we got further into the project, we decided we wanted to do a little extra decoration. And I found this really cute trim at Lowe's and I just, um, I just really liked it. So I bought a bunch of it and brought it home and stained it the same color as the bar tops. And then we used it to apply to the edges, all the edges of all the bar tops. And it just added a little extra something. We even used a couple pieces to cover up the screws that we could not cover before or that were obvious, like that you could see. So, uh, I'm really glad we added this like little touch. It's just, it's, it was simple. All we did was attach it with just some little tiny and like almost nail tacks. And it was really easy. I'm sorry I did not film that part. Uh, Cause at this point we were like down to the wire trying to get this thing finished. So uh, filming it in detail was uh, getting to be harder and harder. But anyway, uh, you get the idea. Uh, it just, I think it really added a little extra something, something to this project. To make the chalkboard, uh, I just went uh, to the hardware store and I bought this piece of wood here. I did have to have it trimmed to size. I just measured um, from where, you know, I just measured the size that I needed so that uh, it would fit in that gap between the two lower kind of pillars of the, of the bar unit. And I just had it cut to that size uh, there at the hardware store. And then uh, I just had chalkboard paint, which I've had forever. Um, it used to be in its original container, but now it's like in a jar. <laughs> but anyway, I just rolled it on using that roller, um, that I showed and just did several layers. Um, you want to de definitely do multiple layers cause you want to really get, um, just a really good writing surface. And, uh, so yeah, I do like four or five layers just cause it, you know, the wood is porous and. Uh, you don't want chalk to not wipe off basically. So just got it painted and then uh, came the challenge of attaching it. So the way we got around this uh, that we figured out because we were dealing with that skinny wood again so and and on top of that the chalkboard was really skinny. Uh, we used this L bracket that uh, and then just the nut and bolt uh, method again because we could not think of a better way um, and we just did this on the inside so we just fixed the bolt on one side of the crate and then the other bolt to the front of the chalkboard I am sorry I did not film this part I'm a bad youtuber but uh, you get the idea it just basically so that I can mount it onto the front of the bar so that you can get this finished project all right, that is it. I really hope that that is helpful for you in some way, especially if you want to try to build something like this. It really wasn't that hard, but it was definitely a labor of love. It was not something we did overnight or in two days or three days. It took weeks, but man, it was worth it. You know, I would advocate if you're going to, if you're able to build something like this for yourself, anything, I definitely am for making your own because it just makes it yours and no one else has a bar like I do. All right, well, this video is getting plenty too long as it is, so I will say good day or good night for now, but I'll be back soon. Bye. And the one I'm gonna talk about today is we made our own bar. Kitty. This is the troublemaker. She wants attention, I think. Okay. Bye. Uh, I did a lot of things DIY, but this one really, oh my gosh, there she's again. I guess she's just going to have to be in the video or I can kick him out and they can meow outside the door. So I guess she's just going to sit right here. Okay.